Hey everyone, this is Tim and I am still in Vietnam and the excursions continue in the best possible way. I have a friend uh, who uh, was supposed to join me on this trip, but unfortunately due to the uh, Vietnamese Independence Day and the Unification Day, their visa just didn't come in on time. So I got a chance to do some exploring and excursions on my own. I got a chance to visit Ha Long Bay from Hanoi, absolutely beautiful. I got a chance to explore the majesty of the limestone mountain on sea, on a cruise, meeting lots of great folks, some new friends, and of course, some exploring, lots of activities, and of course, lots of good food, from the plated dinners to the buffet dinners. It was pretty amazing, and if you happen to be in Ha Long Bay and you're visiting, I would highly recommend spending a day there. And if I look a little bit red, I am because I spent an extra day there. I got a chance to visit Sun World Park. Absolutely amazing. Got to see Ha Long Bay, not only from the water, but from the sky as well. Up the cable cars, on top of the mountain, and on top of that giant Ferris wheel. But make sure to bring sunblock because the sun is intense. And at night, enjoying all the great street food. And after all that great street food, it was time to come to Ho Chi Minh City. Hop on a flight. And after a little while, we have arrived. And uh, I'm pretty excited because uh, at the hotel, I was chatting with uh, Than about uh, where to go eat. And Than there was saying that there happens to be a really good buffet here. And in fact, it's a seafood buffet. This is the Nico Saigon Hotel. And uh, according to Than, they have a superb seafood spread. And I can't wait to check that out. Uh, thank you so much for keeping me company and for joining me. I hope you're hungry. Uh, it's getting laid out, so uh, come on, uh, let's go in. And just as spectacular as it is on the outside, it is the same inside. And I think we go up these stairs. So it's only around six o'clock, but it gets dark pretty quick. And I can already hear the clatters of the plates at the buffet. Ah, here we go. And I can see the buffet going all the way down there. Hey, Yuan, how are you? Oh, this looks beautiful. Uh, can I get a table? Yes. Oh, thank you. All right, and this is pretty cool. I see the drinks right over there and the lobster over there. Thank you, Yuan. This looks absolutely amazing. Great table from Yuan. And uh, the dining room is certainly busy and I don't blame them because coming in, I can see all the great food. And it's quite interesting here because uh, the lobsters and the seafood are made to order and uh, you get a little card here and you pick what you want. They make it fresh and they bring it to your table. So it's a little bit of table service, a little bit of buffet, the best of both worlds. And oh, here comes the wine. Thank you, Thank you so much. And it's really nice because the wine and alcohol and soft drinks and tea and coffee are all included. Cheers. Mm. And I got a cocktail and here it comes. Oh, oh thank you. And the drinks are certainly coming fast and furious. Very nice. Oh, very good. A refreshing cocktail, a little cantaloupe, some melon and a cherry. Mm. What a nice start. And uh, I actually ordered some uh, seafood, the lobster for the table side. And while we wait for those, uh, I think we can check out the buffet. Uh, come on, let's go. Ooh, ooh. And we have some interruption. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. So this is a first, although I've looked at the buffet and believe me, it looks gorgeous. I haven't even had a chance to get any food from there because the service is so quick. My table is already full. Oh, and here comes some more. Thank you so much. I feel so much pressure, but pressure in the best possible way. A little bit of lobster in the Singapore sauce and more lobster in the cheese sauce. These are oysters grilled and baked in a cheese sauce as well. And over there is a fiery red crab. So many things to choose from. It's hard to figure out where to start, but let's start with something right in front of us. These are the cheesy baked oysters. And let's give this a try. Oh, nice and warm and saucy. Oh, absolutely superb. Probably because they were made to order and the nice cheesy goodness is warm and bubbly and can't wait to give this a try again. 
Mm. I can order a dozen of those, but I won't because we have the lobster next. And I think we just need to change the plates. And here is the lobster. This is a little bit of a knife and fork. So these are spiny lobsters. Uh, I think they're in uh, warm waters. And again, it just cuts so perfectly. Very succulent. I can already tell. Mm. Very nice. Grilled to perfection, a little bit of butter and garlic. Very nice. Mm. And I think we need to switch and try the Singapore lobster. Not sure what a Singapore sauce is. But let's give that a try. All right. Nice and saucy. A oh, little bit of sauce. Mm. It tastes like Singapore. Again, lobster is cooked well, and that sauce is a little bit spicy. Lots of depth of flavor, a little bit of sweetness, sourness, and a little bit of spice. Mm. Really nice. Like a little bit of wine. And uh, to a wonderful start of a buffet, even without starting with all this good seafood. Cheers. So what a nice start to the buffet with a little bit of cocktails coming from right over there and the seafood coming from my guests right over here. And this buffet stretches quite long from here all the way down there. And I think we'll get a plate first. All right, and I see a bed of ice and I bet you that must be where the oysters are. And then the lobsters, which we've already had. And yes, here are the oysters. Okay, freshly shucked with a bit of capers and mignonette. And since I already had the baked oysters, I think I'm going to go for oh some of the appetizers. Oh, okay. So this is pretty interesting. I don't know what this is, but it might be fun to find out. Mini hamburgers and a martini glass of pasta. And then let's see, we have some veggies and a caprese salad. Let's see what else. Some potato salad and then a cheese and charcuterie area. Oh, and look at this. Lots of good items here. And over there, I think that is the Iberico pork. So really love the charcuterie of the Spanish and the French and the Vietnamese because we're starting off with a fatty piece of or Iberico ham and another fatty piece and some more nice fat. And speaking of nice fat, we have the duck liver pate. All right, let's give this a try. And I think this has duck meat and duck liver together next to the ham. Oh, and going a little bit backwards, we have the Vietnamese charcuterie, a little bit of Vietnamese ham next to the Iberico ham. And this I've never tried, but I think I need to go for one of these with some peppercorns in there. And the plate is mounding up, but that's okay. We can mount it up some more with a nice spring roll right over here. And moving on, the salad station. Beautiful greens. And oh, I remember this. I had that before in Hanoi and that was really good. But I think I'm gonna skip the salad because there's just so much more. But oh, maybe not because the salads come with a deep fry station. So we've got the healthy spring rolls and I think these are some tempura. Let's give this a try. Oh, and then some sauce, then a little bit of chili. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. That's okay. No salad. No salad. Okay, so I think we're just going to stick with the fried items. Thank you so much. Really, really kind folks here. And I see up there is a grill station, and I think we're going to come back for that near the end so that we have everything nice and hot with beautiful prime rib and fish and seafood. And then let's see what we have here. I think down there is the dessert. And we're gonna do a left turn to go into another area with buffet. Dim sum all day, really nice. And here we see an endless array of cloches and a little bit 
of fried rice, just a little bit, because this will serve as something to soak up all the sauce. Speaking of sauces, think, oh, wonderful chicken. But I think I'll skip that one and let's see what's in here. This is ratatouille, like the cartoon. Okay, some potatoes. So this is the grilled beef, but it is empty and it's just as well because there is a fantastic grilled beef station there and this is sea bass. Oh, wonderful. Let's grab a little bit on the bed of rice. And let's see. Okay, so this is stewed beef shank with a lot of sauce. Let's go here. Okay, nice and luscious and steamed clams in a wonderful curry type sauce with curry leaves. Jade, I'm sorry, these are not black bean sauce, but I'm sure they're just as good. And right over here. And there's so much more here. But I think we're going to visit the grill station. Let's see what they have. And this is a wonderful grill station and I see some more food. I think this is foie gras and all the chefs working so hard. Hi chef. Hi, can I get a piece? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. So I had to cut the uh, visit short because we had the foie gras and I saw all those grilled meats there and we'll take it back for that. But I just don't want this to get cold. Let's give that a try. A little bit of bread. I think this is a plum or something sweet. And we'll try... Oh. That just cuts like air. That is so soft, a little bit crispy right here. Let's give this a try. Mm. That just melts in the mouth. That is absolutely rich and decadent fattiness in the best possible way. A little bit of crispiness and a sweet tart plum at the bottom just to cut everything nicely and balance it out. Mm. I tell you, the buffets in Vietnam just keeps getting better and better and going from strength to strength. And I think we need to try a little bit of the traditional rice roll, a little bit of sauce. Mm. Mm. Very good, nice and fresh, and the wrapper is nice and thin, and really herbaceous. Really strong kick from the herbs, and that little bit of pork or, or beef, really good. Just a little bit of more sauce. Mm. Really good, uh oh, and something's coming. Can, uh, do you wanna, sure. Do you wanna eat? Yeah. So I did not order the lobster with cheese yet, but an ill-gotten lobster is a good lobster. Let's give it a try. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And uh, just a heads up, uh, the lobsters are unlimited. So uh, it's not really a mistake, but uh, just a mistake of inclusion, which is the best possible mistake ever. Really cooked nicely. Oh, ooh. That is piping hot. I'm not sure if you can see all the steam. And this is one of the rare times where I get a really, really nice piping hot lobster. A lot of the times when I'm in buffets, I'm filming and getting everything on the plate. So this is a nice treat. Mm. Got to dig into the head because there's more cheesy goodness. Mm. Oh, that's so good. A little bit more. Mm. But now that we've got the hot items out of the way, let's try the appetizers. And there's still so much food. I think we need to strategize. I think we need to combine everything together. Have a little bit of crackers, a little bit of the duck pate topped. 
with a fatty piece of Iber for ham, but I think this one I'm going to give it a try, just as is. Oh, so delicate, fatty, and so much aroma in the most delicate sense. Mm. Even the appies are top notch because that is a perfect combination a foundation of crispy crackers with a luscious moussey liver pate and the aromatic iberical ham. Mm. So good. And finally, you gotta try those fried items. Okay, now these are cold, but that is worth it. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy. And inside, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some veggies, and I think there might be some seafood in there. Just a little bit more sauce. Makes all the difference. Mmm. And finally, we have the surf and turf, which is the beef shank and the sea bass on a bed of rice. And I think we should give the sea bass a try. Okay, that cuts nicely. Give that a try. Mm. So tender. I'm going to try the beef next. This is beef shank, and I can already tell don't even need to cut it. It's so soft and tender. Mm. And it is luscious, silky sauce, and just as tender and silky as the beef is with striations of tendons that are just melting. Mm. So I'm gonna finish all this up and then I will take you back for some more. Oh, this is absolutely out of this world. Mm. Round one, I guess this is round two technically, is complete. And that was a lot of food and this is the last remaining bit. Mm. Very good. And those clams were absolutely delicious. That sauce was a Thai curry sauce and Jade would be proud. And remember that skewer that I didn't know what exactly what it was? Well, I think it's a smoked fish of some sort. And of course, the Vietnamese ham, lots of textures, so flavorful. And I think with that, let's go for a lot of the hot grill station and more hot food. Cheers. Mm. Let's go. Pass the lobster again, and we can see the grill station part two over there. But I am walking past this because experience has taught me to go for some of the other foods and save that one for last. And let's see, oh, look at this. So a station of steaming goodness, and that looks wonderfully soothing. I think this is hot pot. And I think what you can do is select a few items here and then they'll cook it up for you. But I think I'm gonna skip that because we have this bright array of seafood goodness. And we have, starting off, we have some mussels, some octopus. Now I'm gonna give this a try. This isn't my favorite, but it's always nice to try new things and it does actually look pretty good. So more oysters, let's give this one a try. Oh, absolutely succulent. And we'll keep this as a pair. And I know these are fresh because I saw Chef hard at work grilling up all this wonderful seafood and more shrimp. Grab one of the crusty crustaceans right over here. And moving on, let's see. Hi there. So normally I stay away from the pastas, but they look so good and small portions. Thank you, Jimmy. Great pasta here from Jimmy. And I think a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just a touch of chili flakes, not too much. And keeping to the Italian theme, we have the pizza under the bright lights. And, oh, this is interesting. That does not look like Italian, but that is lotus cake with shrimp, taking a bit of a suntan. It is bright. And I see some seafood spring rolls with the shells attached. And finally, we are back at the grill station with wonderful sauces and some nice roasts. 
And normally I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but these veggies look so good because they are drenched in breadcrumbs and butter and some potato. And let's see what else they have. So they have a seafood dish as well. Mellow mellow, fun to say, and some scallops. Oh my goodness, and it gets better. Some more plated dishes. Eifei, everything looks so good. Can I try a little bit of the beef? Yep. And maybe some fish? Thank you, sir. Oh, way too much. Okay, I'll slice. Ah, okay. Face scared me for a little bit, but that looks more like it. Nice and succulent and thin. So we have some wonderful sauces here. So I'm not sure if you can see under the bright lights, but this is pepper sauce, the traditional then mushroom and hmm, wasabi sauce and a blue cheese sauce. I think I'm going to be a little bit adventurous. Let's try the blue cheese. Okay, look at that. Drizzled on the beef. And maybe a potato. And here, a okay. little bit of mushroom sauce, maybe for the salmon. Oh, and what the heck, we'll go for a tomato. Right next to the potatoes, and we got the best of both worlds. A tomato, a potato, here we go. So this time I'm in a little bit of trouble. This is the first time there's too many plates on the table, and uh, I didn't expect a lobster to appear, but it's nice that it does. So I think I'm just going to switch this around. Here we go. And that's much better. Let me show you all this food here. So the lobster I did not expect, but it was nice of them to bring a little bit of pho, Italian style. And we've got the grilled foods that we'll have to have immediately. But right after we try the beef and the salmon from Faye, we have to dig into this post haste. Let's give this a try wonderful fat there. Let's cut this up. And this is the blue cheese sauce. All right. Let's give this a try. Mm. Wonderfully tender with some nice fatty goodness. And that blue cheese sauce makes all the difference. Meat is kind of nice and light and the sauce gives it an extra kick. Mm. Very nice. And a little bit of salmon with the mushroom sauce. Mm. Very nice. I was afraid by the look of it that the salmon might be dry, but it is sliced so thinly and crispy on the outside, but still very moist on the inside. Mm. Very good. Let's try the grilled plate. I'm really curious as to what that lotus root and shrimp cake is. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy. And I think at the bottom is a disc of lotus root with some shrimp mousse on top, all fried. Mmm. Very good. Just gonna dig into the pasta. So, a little bit surprised that there is no pho, but this is just as good or very different. Mm. Mm. Very garlicky and wonderfully oily. And I think at this time we have to do some strategizing. I think we need to combine a couple of dishes together. So maybe a little bit of the scallops in the pasta with more sauce all together, making it a perfect big bite. Mm. Mm. A little bit of angel hair pasta with a little bit of spiciness from the chili and that succulent saucy scallop with the mushrooms and i think this might be abalone as well very nice mm. so i think i'm gonna work hard and uh, finish up all these plates and, and again that was unexpected but well, that's okay always nice to be greeted by the lobster and we'll take you back so really getting full here and that last round was fantastic. That scallop dish beneath, there was a pork moussey pate, really delicious. And that spring roll, nice and crispy with a shrimp paste inside. And they were nice enough to give me some gloves to attack the crab with gusto. And that was a bit of work. Those shells are thick and apologies to the table next to me with shells flying every which way. 
and those shrimp were absolutely delicious, kind of like the crawfish. Start with the head and finish with the tail. And now I think it's time for dessert. And unfortunately, I think I missed the sushi station, but uh, that's okay. Uh, let's go for some dessert. All right, go grab a plate. All right, and they certainly have a nice variety here. Really nice to see the hardworking folks here keeping everything well stocked. And I think these are the special cake of the day. And I think they have two. Let's give this a try here. And it's other special cakes. Oh, and they have more. I'm going to skip the cupcakes. And as tempting as those cakes on top look, I think I will skip those since I do have the special cake of the day. But I don't think I'm going to skip this. Always love a red velvet cake. Oh, and I think I'm in trouble because the chocolate cake and the Japanese matcha cake all look so good. This is such a dilemma and one of the best problems to have. But look at this. As Paul Hollywood would say, a nice sponge. And as Crew would say, very boozy. Let's give this a try. All right. How about right next to the red velvet? And there's more. More cakes here. And I think this one, I know there's way too much, but look at that moussey cake with the foundation of sponge at the bottom. And I think that might be a Japanese cheesecake at the top. One remaining spot left, but that's not going to stop us because there's more. And by passing the fruit, I see we have little pots of goodness. So this looks pretty interesting. Try for, I think this is a matcha mousse. And this might be blueberry. Something healthy right here. Stay. And we have some more colorful ones here. Let's see. Oh, look at this. This looks like a Japanese fish cake in custard form. All right, I'm trying to restrain myself because I do want to try each and every one of these, but maybe just one more. And that last one will be something that looks like an espresso shot in mousse form. And that is the dessert. Wish me luck back to the table. That was a harrowing walk back from the dessert station to the table, but we've got everything we need here. I did go for the Japanese matcha cake, and this was the one that was a bit worrying some, and uh, the desserts. And this is not dessert. This is porch sushi, and I couldn't resist. So we'll wait for the dessert, and let's go for the sushi with the ikara on top, beautifully torched. And then a little bit of soy sauce. Let's see, dunk it in here. Oh, that is so good. So worth the detour. The salmon is wonderfully soft, slightly charred, and a little bit of pop with the ikara. Very good. Mm. So, I guess it's time for dessert. Which one to try first? I think we need to go for the dessert of the day, the special dessert of the day. Oh, that just cuts so nicely. Mm. So light yet creamy, and that is blueberry with layers of cake. Mm. And the special dessert number two. Oh, and that again cuts wonderfully, so many layers. Mm. Even lighter than the first, wonderfully moist cake and a little bit of mango, tropical, moussey goodness. Mm. And finally, the Japanese Swiss roll, or do you call this the Swiss Japanese roll? And I like it because there is more filling than cake. Oh. And it's so soft with a little, I think that's red bean or some plum in the middle. Oh, all right. If you're here at Nico Saigon and you're here at the buffet, you have to get that dessert. This is just absolutely light and luscious. Not sure what all these flavors are but they just marry so well together. Perfect harmony, very good. Oh, so good. I can go for 12 of those. And you know what? I think I will. 
So this is La Brasserie at Nico Saigon here in Ho Chi Minh City. Fantastic folks like Jimmy and Faye and, and all the good servers that just keep passing you on seafood after seafood with oysters and lobster till your heart's content. And then even then they still give you more. Really enjoyable here. And I do notice uh, the buffets here and the food here just keeps getting better and better and going from strength to strength. Can't wait to see what's next. And with all the rich food, this is absolutely necessary. Cheers to you. Mm. Very good. So thank you so much for joining again. Really grateful that you can keep me company and also grateful to get to uh, visit and share these experiences together uh, virtually and uh, hopefully uh, in person as well. And uh, really cherish this community. So a special uh, shout out to John and Bethan. Uh, congratulations to the happy couple. And also a special shout out to uh, Marissa and Ashley. And uh, Ashley, hope you're keeping well and uh, staying strong. Uh, all the best to you. And uh, again, really appreciate all this interaction here. So again, uh, this is a really good time here in Vietnam in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're traveling well. Uh, take care of each other and God bless. <laughs> bye bye for now. And I think I'm gonna go for that dessert that's been giving me so much trouble coming back. Let's see. Oh, hopefully it's worth it. Mm. When it is.